No! <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here. It's that time of the week again where we watch dumb people do dumb stuff on TikTok for our entertainment. I'm just kidding. We watch dumb people do dumb stuff on TikTok for our entertainment in to learn from them. It's important to always be Knowledge. learning. Remember, I saved the most liked video for last. Let's jump into it. Damn. Oh, let's watch that again. Y'all, and I know we cover the subject a lot. I know we talk about this a lot. Please do not ride motorcycles. I know it's a lot of people's passions and they love it, but they are so dangerous. The most convincing thing I can say is I make a lot of money as a catastrophic personal injury lawyer off of motorcycle incidents because they are so dangerous and i'm telling you not to get on a motorcycle and in this case obviously this guy is speeding if he got into an accident it would probably almost certainly be his fault because when you're going that fast you don't have enough time to react you can hurt yourself or even worse somebody else i mean what if he hurt this guy who was just in the road next to him I mean, just look at that. Knowledge hammer. Knowledge hammer. Don't be on a motorcycle. And if you're going to be on a motorcycle, please be safe about it. Oh, well, yeah. What's going on? Okay. So basically, I, so I can't let you guys come in and pick him from school. I can let him know that you're here. And then I can ask him if he wants to talk to you. But if he refuses, then I can't go get him. Yeah, this is to you. Um, that's not hell yeah good job school principal and of course this analysis changes based on the crime based on the urgency is it a public school is it a private school do they have a search warrant do they have an arrest warrant even if they have an arrest warrant you still have to have a legal vantage point of getting the person so if he's at school and being at school is afforded some sort of protection that doesn't mean that they can necessarily break into the school even if they have an arrest warrant they're gonna have to wait till after school to arrest him it's just gonna depend and of course of course keyboard warriors out there there definitely are situations in which the police could go get him out of class but based on what i'm seeing it's good that the principal is standing up enforcing policy and in probably enforcing this kid's constitutional rights good job principal lawsuit absolutely i'm only half kidding y'all listen here's the deal suing the government really really sucks don't get injured by the government they're going to have some form of immunity yes you can potentially recover against them but it is way more a pain in the ass just just if, if you're gonna get injured get injured by not the government such as the local metro authority this looks like a subway in new york but luckily this doesn't seem like he was hit too hard <laughs> f in the chat for my man f in the chat for my man who is sitting there while this guy was filming clearly the guy filming knew this was gonna happen <laughs> hey maybe lawsuit against him wow Bye. It doesn't really look like a defective product. That looked more or less like operator error. <laughs> he kind of just let go of it. <laughs> Rip to my man. Oh. Oh. Now that area is properly marked as the splash zone and this guy looks like he's consensually engaging in getting splashed. Yeah, I don't know, but probably not a case here. This is a great example of a knowledge hammer type situation. What did you expect? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences. Oh, good, 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 good. All right. I didn't realize 
Nick Ricada had a TikTok. Nick, it's good to see you on TikTok, buddy. These poor fish are freaking out. That's some Delta P in real life, y'all. This is this is some Delta P sh I've actually never seen an aquarium crack, but I'm sure Disney has some sort of insurance policy that's going to cover the damage to the restaurant. Oh, sh the f train just came down on the blade. Oh my God. Oh my God. damn that there's probably a personal injury case there somewhere and certainly a property damage case trains are very expensive and windmill blades are very expensive moral of the story the trucker probably should have given him or her ample time to cross the railway oh my Okay, woof. I'm glad nobody got hurt further or that didn't collapse further. That is absolutely a lawsuit, a premises liability case. It is foreseeable that your stands are going to be crowded. It's foreseeable that stands are going to jump up and down. You need to make sure your grandstands are suitable. Let's check that out one more time. They're lucky it just stopped there. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Yo, Jeremy, check out this lighter trick. <laughs> <laughs> that would absolutely be a lawsuit if cologne was that flammable because it's foreseeable that there are going to be a bunch of douchebags who wear lots of cologne and it's foreseeable that they at some point are going to be near fire. So you, you can't have cologne that explodes. <laughs> Look at this guy trying to do something like he's gonna help at this point you know what i don't feel too bad for for this TikTok because if you have a yacht like this you probably have lots of money you probably have good insurance i feel bad for the people's who boats are getting destroyed but you're probably going to be compensated and now it's time for the most liked TikTok of the week she let her friend decide what tattoo she was getting two one you tear your goggles off no no <laughs> what kind of friend does that <laughs> is there a lawsuit here well you can make the argument that the friend consented to having the other friend pick what goes on her but you could also make the argument that yeah i gave you permission to put a tattoo on me but i didn't expect you to <laughs> to do that if there's one thing i know for sure that girl is not fr friends with the other one anymore. Knowledge hammer. Just just straight knowledge hammer and F in the chat for that girl. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. My goal is always to make content worthy of your time. I hope you had fun. I ask that you consider joining this community. We just passed 447,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. My goal is always to make content worthy of your time. As always, leave any questions, comments, concerns, down below i'll be sure to answer them all right y'all talk to you later bye he's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a youtuber
Attorney Tom.